What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another hot sauce review. Uh, this is one of the ones I found at that local Indian store a while back. I tried the one, it was pretty good. And we're gonna try this one to see if we can go two for two. So, I really can't read the label too well because they have the address underneath the other side of the label there, but we're going to see if we can peel it off just to see what it says and then put it back. Probably should have been more prepared and I'm not. Apologies. Okay, this is manufactured for DJL in Carroll Stream, Illinois. And you can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm assuming a DJL because it doesn't really say. Uh, it, it's a shake well before use for dry after opening, best before putting a Sustainable, suitable for vegetarians. MSG free, gluten free. It is DJ's original Peri Peri hot sauce. The last one I tried, I think, was the mild. I still also have the extra hot or whatever it's called. But uh, <clears throat> we'll leave the little read up on the side. It says our our Peri Peri sauce can be used with all your favorite foods. Dip, it, baste, or marinate. Just experiment away. Made in USA. And the ingredients are kind of covered over, again, with the label, but I do kind of wrote down. <clears throat> this is the original one. So, the ingredients are lemon juice from concentrate, heavy whipping cream, water, sugar, spices, salt, natural flavors, soybean oil, xanthan gum, and bird's eye peppers. <clears throat> So, we're going to get right into this. Okay, where's the perforation? Oh, definitely one of the easier labels to get off. That's for sure. Give it a shaky shake. For Joe Hannigan and Silas and Joya, check Joe out at Heating Up. Here is the consistency. Looks like decently thick sauce, which I like. And now, <clears throat> and I've noticed too, uh, most of the hot sauces I buy anymore, buy anymore do not have flow restrictors on them, which is great. But here we go to smell. Yeah, I mean, you get that lemon juice obviously right away because that's the first ingredient. Be a good chicken marinade, I could already tell, just from the smell. Smells really good. Well, <clears throat> here we go. Here's the heat my shorts. Show the label while you pour. Okay. Oh yeah, it's low. Okay, it's thick. All right. All right. Now we're talking. Hmm. Smells good. There's what it looks like on the spoon. And here we go, from DJ's there, original Peri Peri Hot Sauce. Hmm. Definitely has a sweetness from the sugar. Probably, I don't think the whipping cream would be giving it sweetness, but. Hmm. I get the bird's eye peppers. They're not real spicy. Just a nice flavor. Definitely got a sweetness, though. Really mild, but I like it. That's good. That's real good. You also get the lemon, but it's not really overpowering. You get that, the sugar gives it a little sweetness get the bird's eye pepper <clears throat> what else was in there 
You get the yeah, it's nice smooth from the soybean oil. I like it. That's really good. Um, there's no heat to it at all. None at all. It's just bird's eye peppers. That flavor's good. I'm going to give the flavor a 9 out of 10. For a $3.99 bottle of hot sauce, I found it in the Indian market. <clears throat> I never knew it existed until then. I give it 9 out of 10. This would be good as a salad dressing. A little bit of sweetness. Got the lemon. Got the oil in there. I mean, vinegar. You got everything right there. Yeah, really good. There you go. DJ's Perry Perry Sauce. Original Perry Perry Sauce. That's worth a try. I think, I believe I looked it up. I think you can find it on Amazon. You can order it straight from their website at... I looked up the website up, but it's not on here. But, um, excuse me. I think, pretty sure Amazon sells it. That's a good sauce. I like that salad dressing right there. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time.